Hi, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, so I finally managed to get a, uh, a line, good weather, Peak District not being closed and things, so the open access due to fire risks and things to uh, a day off from work. So I've got a Friday off. My plan is to go up Kinder Scout again, so I'm just going to go bringing Roger up the side of it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go straight over uh, the plateau onto the northern edge, get a load of water. And uh, I probably could have got away with a bivy today, but I've actually got a new... Uh, new tent that I'm desperate to try out so out of breath what I'll do is I'll bring you back when I get to the top and then uh yeah I'll probably show you on the map where we're going to go we're going to go straight out over over then what I'll do is I'll bring you back when we uh, kind of then get to the northern edge probably do a bit of footage on the way up and yeah I'll see you soon Well, I made it to the top. Uh, it's taken me quite a while to get up here. It's, uh, I'm not gonna lie, that was hard. I've eaten nearly all my sweets getting up here. I needed that much sugar. Um, yeah, so my rucksack, I've, like I said, I've got a new tent. It's a, a Hilleberg Sulu Solo, I think they call it. Um, so yeah, my rucksack's a bit heavier than normal. So it's about eight and a half, nine kilos. That's including my food, a uh, litre and a half of water I've carried up here. I am hoping I can get some water up here, but I think same as last time I came up, it's pretty dry, but we'll see what it's like on the Northern edge. Uh, but yeah, cool, so great views. I've only seen a few people up here, it's actually pretty quiet. So I'm going to head over, uh, I've got a kilometre to go up uh, the edge path. Um, once I get there, I'll, I'll cross over the uh, over the plateau onto the northern edge and then we'll grab some water and then we're going to probably head up towards seal stones and then we'll find a spot up there um, to uh, to find that we can sit down and have a rest and then uh, yeah, once it starts getting a bit uh, towards dark, going sun going down, we'll get the tent up. So all right, I'll see you in a bit. Right, well, we've, we've just come over the plateau, so we, uh, yeah, we're on the northern side of Kinder Scout now, and it's pretty quiet. Um, I checked a spot further up, which is where I thought I actually got the water from last time, but it's not. It, it was actually here. It's bone dry up there, but luckily the, uh, they've got some good flowing water here. I've got enough water on me anyway, but I'm going to fill up this four litre bladder I've got uh, and take it back to, uh, back to the camp. Well, finally got my pen, uh, tent pitched. Uh, it was a bit of a disaster. It's, uh, I think the, the ground, I've, uh, the spot I've picked, it's nice and sheltered um, from the wind, but yeah, it's, it's not, it, it, it's level, but it's lumpy. So I think it's going to be an interesting night's sleep. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I think first thing I found is the tent pegs, are the ones that come with the Hillyboat tent, they're, they're no good for out here. The ground is so soft, and I think you've got to get quite deep into the ground to really get a good anchor. Um, I'm going to need to buy a new set of, probably a full set of uh, tent pegs that are probably double uh, double length, the ones that come with the Heleberg tent, the standard. But yeah, I, so I, I've used a few tents. I mean, me and my wife is, used to do camping when we first got together and we've had Van Gogh and uh, sort of two-man tents and now we've got this big family tent that, you know, you can fit, you know, like two kids, <laughs> me and my wife and probably a car and everything in it. Um, but really, I, I, I had an MSR uh, one-man sort of single-person tent that I've used before. Uh, but it's only three season and it didn't feel that great in the wind and this actually leaked on me a couple of times. Uh, 
plus you have to pitch inner then outer which for british weather is pretty much a waste uh really is a waste you, it's just no good you know i mean i'm lucky today that it's it's dry weather it's, it's been a good forecast and luckily it's not going to be too windy so i'm not too worried about the anchor points but i probably will check them uh, during the night um but yeah i wanted a tent that is four season um you know, so my plan is to come out all year round, assuming, you know, my back can cope with the weight I'm carrying. I mean, this is about just under sort of 1.9, sorry, just under uh, eight and a half or to nine kilo, I think the my rucksack was when I when I checked it. Uh, when I get a bigger sleeping bag in, obviously that's going to go up and with some other clothing as well that I'm going to need in winter, but I wanted a, a, a tent that can cope with it. So yeah, so I, I saved up and yeah, got me sent this and I love it. Uh, it's so easy to put up, it's, it's unreal. Um, but yeah, so the views i've got pretty pretty good um from the tent i mean i'll get out later and kind of show you better but um yeah sun's going to be going down shortly i've actually pitched a little bit probably a little bit earlier than i should have but given that i've only pitched this tent in the garden um i didn't want to be learning <laughs> or finding issues and then struggling to uh, get sheltered for the night but yeah, so no, like I said, I'm not happy with the pitch, but you know, that's, I guess, you know, I'm not very experienced at doing this and I'm, I'm going to learn as I go. Um, you know, I'm sure I'll sleep, but it's not going to be the most comfortable night's sleep. Now, I could have easily could have bivvied out tonight, um, but I mean, I bought this tent a while ago and I'll be honest, I've been desperate to get out in this tent, I really have. And I figured maybe get out when the weather's better. Uh, so at least it's a bit easier for me to put up and um so yeah you know so hopefully you're gonna spend the night in here now it's uh quarter past six um i'm absolutely starving so i'm gonna grab some food now um i might do a bit of footage of doing the food but then what i'll do is i'll bring you back as i'll kind of show you a bit more about where i've pitched the tent we'll go up a little bit higher on some rocks and i'll show you the views and the hope really is to get some time lapse i bought brought a spare battery with me for the gopro so i'm hoping i can maybe get the sun going down and i'd love i mean i think it's gonna be a clear night forecast it not like it will be now but if i can get a if it is fairly clear i want to get some time lapse absolute time lapse of the stars right i'm gonna have a bit of a rest grab some food and i'll bring you back and we'll do some more footage yeah not keen on this stove it's uh i mean i've had it a long time it's a little msr pocket rocket actually it's the uh the old sort of version one um it's really unsteady i i've got on that primer stove which is actually heavier though uh but yeah the primer stove is so much nicer it's a lot quieter and it's a lot more stable um so today we've got beef cottage pie last time i was out here i uh had a curry but i've actually got a little flask of whiskey with me today and i figured I think I don't want to be having a curry before, so a, uh, a curry before the whiskey. Right. Let's give that ten minutes. Oh, right, I'll bring you back in a bit when I'm eating my dinner. Right, well, I've got my coffee brewed. I've got, I've got my uh, freeze-dried, dehydrated, whatever meal. Uh, I've got the hot water in that, so I'm going to leave that a good 10 minutes at least because it always takes longer than the, than you think. I think in distance I can see someone else that might be while camping, but yeah, I haven't seen... On the south side I saw a, a, a probably three or four walkers, but I haven't seen anybody on the north side. Um, so what I do is I'll get a little bit higher up if I can. So I didn't actually get as far as I wanted. I, I was aiming for seal stones. I'm, I'm going to uh, check on the map. I don't think I've got far enough up, but I was running out of time. So I didn't really want to be, uh, didn't really want to be uh, sort of hanging around and and stuff. So yeah, I've, I've managed to get the, uh, the tent pitched up, and I've just seen there's some other some other campers over there. So I'm going to come down. I don't really want everyone knowing where I am. Um, but yeah, so I've got the tent pitched. It's not pitched the way I wanted to. Like I said, I need, uh, I need some new tent pegs because these are really naff. <laughs> I mean, the ground around here is so soft. Um, it's just not and impossible to get, the, uh, to get the pegs in. And it's, yeah, it's really, I mean, you can see the tufted grass on the corner there. It's an absolutely terrible pitch. I'm not, not happy, not proud of it at all. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it all comes with experience, doesn't it? So I'm going to check all the uh, the points that I've got um, on here. Uh, I'll check all the, uh, the guidelines later and just make sure everything's looking fine. But yeah, I want to try and get some time lapse. Uh, try and get some time lapse of the uh, of it. But yeah, the views are views are pretty good. I mean, if you look round. I mean, the sun's starting to go in, but yeah, the views are pretty good. I mean, it's pretty remote over here. It's just sod law that I've just pitched my tent probably just a couple hundred yards away from where there's somebody else pitching, but I don't know if they're wild camping or if they're uh, going to move on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some time lapse going, of the sun going down. I mean, I'll bring you back um, probably when I'm having my whiskey uh, after my food later. So I'll bring you back in a sec. Hey, how are you doing? So it's, it's about 10 to 8, so it's actually starting to get quite dark now. So I'm, I'm chilling out in the tent for a little while. I've just been outside and um, kind of watching the views and uh, watching the sun finally kind of go down. What I've got tonight is I've, I've actually bought myself a new flask. Um, so I was looking at on eBay and um, is it AliExpress uh, for a lot of flasks and the reviews for a lot of them weren't very good. So I um, there's a... It's Snow Peak. I've, I've used Snow Peak gear before, and um, I, I saw in a review or a video that somebody put up that uh, they make flasks. So I managed to get one. Uh, it's a little titanium flask. Um, it holds about a medium, sort of large shot, I guess, of whiskey. So what I've got in this, I've got some uh, what's my favourite whiskey. Uh, and if you shop around, you can get it at a good price. Um, so what this one is is Abela, 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 um, twelve year old double cask I think I think it's double cask so it's quite a sweet uh, whiskey um, single malt and this one's been uh, I think it's aged in sherry casks and American oak casks I think <clears throat> uh, but yeah but it's really nice now I haven't brought a glass because um, I'm actually trying to travel as light as I can <clears throat> yeah so tonight I'm going to be having this so this is a really nice whiskey now It's really smooth. Now I actually only brought probably about half a flask because I think the thing is it's so smooth, it's so nice, you could easily down the whole bottle. But yeah, it's a really, really nice whiskey. Um, I'm probably not going to drink all this tonight, but uh, but yeah, it's really, really good. I recommend it. Um, yeah, so I think what it is, I'm going to enjoy my whiskey. Um, I've got porridge for in the morning and coffee, so I'll, I'll do that. Um, I'm probably not going to need to filter any water because um, I drunk quite a lot of water at Sheffield train station on uh, en route to coming here because I've come on the train again. I can hear the geese going over. Um, so yeah, I think I'll be up at sunrise. I'll uh, I'll probably get packed up pretty early because I've got a fair trek. I've come quite a long way, um, not as far as I planned, but quite quite a trek over onto the northern uh, northern side of Kinder, so I probably want to be getting off quite early. Right, so I'm going to enjoy my whiskey, and then uh, once I've had a bit of a, a chill out with this, and I've got my little um, wireless radio that I bring as well, so I don't use my battery on my phone, I, I use a separate radio and I get, you know, uh, some some uh, pretty good reception up here, so I'll listen to a bit of, uh, a bit of the wireless and uh, have a whiskey, so I'll bring you back shortly. Right, well, I think it's... Uh, Yeah, so it's about half nine now. So I think what I'm uh, planning to do is uh, I'll probably put my head down and have a, a, a last... Uh, hmm, probably finish my whiskey off. Then I'm going to get to sleep. Um, I'm going to try and... I'll probably wake up in an hour or two and if I do, I'll, I'll do some time-lapse of some stars. But yeah, I think unless it's... Uh, I mean, it's pretty windy, but hopefully it should be a pretty quiet night. So unless nothing, uh, anything happens, I'll uh, I'll bring you back in the morning. Yeah, I think uh, here's to uh, hopefully a good night on top of Kinder Scout. A uh, bit of whiskey, a uh, bit of classic FM or whatever I can pick up on the radio. And yeah, see you in the morning. Cheers. Good morning. So I've got my uh, my porridge. Uh, I'm just having a coffee. 
Good morning. Now my GoPro is going flat, so it's going to have to be quick, but I'm going to have my coffee. It was a great night.